Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for coming along. If you guys have watched a few of my first videos, you'll know that I struggled a little bit with getting clean audio through the headsets and recording it to the camera. I actually found it really hard to find a good video out there to sort of solve some of the problems that I was having. So uh, what I've done is a fair bit of research and over the last sort of 10 videos, I've worked out a way to sort of solve the clipping and still be able to get good audio inside the headset. So we're gonna do a super deep dive into what I've done. We're gonna go through the two sort of main ways most people capture cockpit audio. Um, the extra piece of equipment that I've, I'm gonna now start using in my videos going forward, um, how it all works. And then we'll jump into Adobe Premiere in post and we'll have a look there what I also do on top to clean the audio up. So hopefully this will be the, the one video that'll solve all the issues that you've had with cockpit audio. Uh, especially in GA aircraft, which tend to, to be a little bit noisier, so you need to have those levels a little bit higher. All right, let's get straight into it. So, audio-wise, I've been recording on a Zoom H1. It's one of these. Um, you can watch a whole video on exactly what bit rates and hertz to record into, pros and cons with both. Basically, the the band at which you're recording will give you more high and low frequency. Um, I rec my sort of thinking is to record in a really high bit rate. That way I've got more information to clean up in audio. Um, there are probably some people out there a little bit better educated with that and might be able to uh, assist. But anyway, using the Zoom H1. Now, the first and probably the most simple way with this is to simply use a Rode lavalier mic, sit that inside your ear, just sort of up like this, underneath your headset, your noise cancelling headset, and simply record. Uh, these will also work provided you have the right adapter, which is a two ring um, adapter. You can plug that straight into either a mobile phone, an audio recorder, and record directly to. The only thing at that point you really need to do on an audio recorder like this is check that when you're talking that these levels aren't clipping. So you want to sort of see that somewhere around the minus 12. So just with that mic plugged in, how I'm talking now, that audio is not looking too bad. All right, now the issue that you have with an aircraft is the line out on the system, if we're recording via cables, is actually a headphone line out. Now that headphone line out is quite a hot line, like it's got quite a bit of power behind it. And the reason that that's done is, is it needs to drive, you know, the speakers inside your headset. Um, you know, Bose headsets, whatever, whatever headset you're using, it doesn't matter. So it's actually quite a powerful line out. Um, the issue you have running that line directly into one of these recorders is that these recorders are designed for a mic in, which is an unamplified line. You can probably see where I'm going with this. So even if you have your levels about right on here on negative 12, that line coming in is so hot that it's going to clip. It's going to sort of overpower that recorded driver inside this thing. So what we want, we are at the airport, so there's people flying. Uh, so what we want to be able to do is tone down that line in line of it coming into this recorder so we can set our correct levels. So reiterate. Zoom H1, lavalier mic, aim for minus 12. Make sure you do you know, a nice big clap at the start of your video with your camera's recording near your headset so you can sync that up in post on the waveforms. I'll show you this later. Um, good to go. Now, oh sorry, and uh, one of the other things with that is you do get quite a bit of back background noise with that lavalier mic. That lavalier mic has quite a wide cardioid mic inside of it, so it's not like a headset mic. So that's one of the bad points. One of the good points with it super simple to set up okay the next way that we can record audio is to do it off the quarter inch jack the quarter inch jack is the headphone jack so you've got the headphone and the mic jacks on the standard he ga headset um we're simply using a splitter so it splits it off onto two cables people doing circuits very loud so the beauty of going with a quarter inch jack means that we're using the microphone off the headset. So this will actually get rid of a lot more background noise and make it a lot easier in post to really clean that up. I mean, we all know how microphones and a headset work. They're designed to pick up your voice and not much else. And they, they only come on when you speak into them. So they're, you know, they're voice activated up. The Rode mic is going to be recording audible that whole time. So you sort of see. All right, so 
closing the windows. It's going to get hot in here real quick as we've got aircraft starting up behind me. So we'll go over this. We've got quarter inch jack off the splitter. So one side of my headphones is going to plug into here. The other half is going to run into this Behringer inline volume control. This is a little bit of overkill. Uh, you can use something a lot cheaper, but this one I've actually found at an audio store. It was about 50, 60 bucks Australian. Um, and that runs to an XLR mic cable. Uh, it's really good quality. It's an all one in solution. It's got a really nice um, volume knob on it with quite a bit of resistance. So you're not gonna bump it. A little clip, you can put it out of the way. I'll actually put a link in the, uh, the description for this same bit of equipment. But as I said, you can use anything that is simply an inline volume control. From that, stay with me, that just runs into a 3.5 mil cable. So this is actually designed for in-ear microphones for singers. So the perfect thing. And now we plug that directly into our Rode uh, recording device. That allows us to simply set the volume inside of that, that uh, H1, the Zoom H1, and uh, make sure our audio is good while still being able to have the volume on our dash up to the correct level so we can actually hear it in our headphones. But, uh, the other last little thing that you might need is simply just a pair of earbuds, just normal run-of-the-mill earbuds. Plug them in and that allows us to do a little sound check of ourselves and actually listen to what the audio is like coming directly into this. This will allow you to set that line level input to make sure it's not clipping. All right, um, I'm going to fire the aircraft up. We'll taxi over to the run-up bay. Once we're nice and warm, we'll then go through and we'll lift the engine up to you know run up so 1800 RPM so we can put some noise through the aircraft. And I'll give you a demonstration of what it sounds like with both the um, lavalier mic and using the cables plugged in by the headset and you can see the difference. From there, we'll take it back across in the post. We can compare the two and um, yeah, hopefully this should sort some issues out for you. So we're sitting here currently with the split cable plugged in to the Zoom H1 via the Behringer PM1. They're somewhere around the minus 12 dB mark. Right, so we're sitting here with the aircraft running. Um, what I'll do is I'll lift the RPM up and we'll do a little sound check. So we'll go to 1800 RPM. Right, that's sitting there at 1800 RPM. So this is a sound check directly through the mic on my headset through the line in. Danny got ground, that's 172, Echo Whiskey Charlie. Just some background radio. Uh, Bravo 3, request to taxi to the southern apron. Echo Whiskey Charlie, Jane ground, taxi to the southern apron. Taxi to the southern apron, Echo Whiskey Charlie. All right, beautiful. So those levels look really good and they were comfortable inside my headset. So last one, sound check, Behringer inline volume control directly into the Zoom H H1. So this has got rid of all that clipping of that, um, that high range when we were basically over boosting that recorder. Bring the RPM back down and I'll disconnect this quickly. I'll put the level back in and we'll go from there and um, I'll give you the demonstration of what it sounds like with the lavalier. Uh, so clap test. All right, that synced us up. So we're now using the lav mic. That's just simply in my ear, sitting in my ear recording. You can see here on the Zoom H1, we're at a similar level, about minus 12 dB. Um, you should hear the difference, you'll be, listening, you'll be listening to it, that we're getting quite a bit more background noise in comparison to recording uh, directly via the cable, via this mic. That lavalier mic is still going to be picking up that background noise because it is recording the whole time, not just when this mic is activated. So we'll lift the aircraft up to 1800 RPM. Okay, we're sitting at 1800 RPM. I'm going to say, judging by those levels, you're probably going to hear a little bit of that in the background, but that's going to give you an idea. So this is a test. This is the lavalier mic directly in my headset recording to the Zoom H1. This is a sound check with the lavalier mic recording directly to the Zoom H1. Um, and what I'll do is I'll flick across to the ATIS. 118 decimal one. Wind varying between 120 degrees and 240 degrees, 8 knots. Maximum crosswind, 8 knots. Maximum power wind, 2 knots. Cav OK. Temperature 24. 
Okay, and that was about a comfortable level inside my headset, something that I'd use when I'm flying. So hopefully that helps. Um, we'll jump back home. I'll see you guys back inside Adobe Premiere in post, and I'll show you what I do to clean these levels up. All right, welcome back to the house, guys. Uh, we're here inside Adobe. So I'm just gonna walk you through how I go about cleaning up the audio directly from the recorders. Um, yeah, let's get straight into it. Right, so first up, you can see here that I've got both sets of audio. So this blue audio here is the audio from the GoPro. The one under green is directly from the recorder. I've got them both here. So you can see on the timeline there that I'm just simply lining the claps up with the video to get both of those bits of audio in sync. Once that's done, I'll mute the GoPro audio or I actually normally delete it. I, I'm not gonna use it, but it's handy to have it there just in case. Once I've got that, I'll play you a short bit of this clip. You're gonna hear the background noise at the recorders and you just pick up from the system through the cables and then we'll clean it up a little bit. So we'll play it now. Clap, clap. Syncing the claps. Clap. All right, so we're sitting here currently with the split cable plugged in to the Zoom H1. All right, so you can hear that there's quite a bit of noise in the background. So I'm in Adobe under the audio panel. Uh, in here, if we go to edit, it'll come across to edit. We go to dialogue, in dialogue. So the two that I almost exclusively always use in the plane, they seem to work really well. Um, use what you got is reduce noise and reduce, reduce rumble. I bring them both down to about two. Um, you can have a play with these settings and see what you're happy with. I like them somewhere around two, 2.5. If you go too heavy, it'll actually start doing this weird, uh, like, like a gate opening and closing on my voice. And my voice will actually start to sound quite weird as it tries to separate the background bass with the sound of my voice. So let's play that now back and we'll see the difference immediately. All right, so we're sitting here currently with the- So still a little bit of a high pitch whistle. Cable plugged in. I'll let this timeline play across to the next clip, which doesn't have these two things set and you'll hear the difference. To the Zoom H1 via the Behringer PM1. All right, so quite a bit of a difference. Uh, you should be able to hear that. A lot more of a whistle and a lot more of a hum on this area, which we haven't actually got it in. And just to show you, if I am click on this, come across the dialogue, that's just all standard. We haven't done anything there at all, okay? So we'll come back into the audio area that we're working on. Now, if we come across on to under our effects uh, browser over here, and we're looking for a parabol parametric equalizer, making sure I'm clicked on the area that I wanna drag that, we're gonna drag and drop that uh, equalizer that piece of edit that editing tool over this clip now come across to edit and this is going to bring up the parabolic equal parametric equalizer now you'll see here if we're getting quite a bit of distortion there's these high pitch whines that we're getting which is just electrical interference on all the cabling um, i did buy good quality cabling that so what we can do here is we can actually see so we're sitting here currently with the and we can hear it we can hear it there where my cursor is. So this is pretty constant and we know that that's not the aircraft on my voice. So we can actually pinch this line down, something like that, and cut a little bit of this high pitch wine out. Let's have a listen now. Split cable plugged in to the Zoom a lot H1. Better. I'll let it play over to the next, I'll let it play over to this next bar here and we'll see the difference. Via the Behringer, PM1. Needless to say, that's a huge difference. Now from here, we can probably just throw, you know, the top, end, the base end's a little flat. We can throw completely up to you. It depends on the aircraft you're in, what kind of, what your voice is like, whether you have a deeper voice like myself, or you've got a sort of a higher pitch voice. You can play around with this and find a happy medium. I'm gonna throw a little bit more low end into my voice just so it just make it sound slightly more full. Currently with the split cable plugged in so that's not too bad. Zoom. And we're looking here that we're somewhere in this realm here of our dBs, minus six to minus 18, which is about where we want to be. You would simply adjust that with this line down here and set it up. So I'll let this play once more, just through the end. 
to the clip that doesn't have anything on it. Uh, and then we'll go across and have a listen to the lavalier one. We'll apply the same workings. Split cable plugged in to the Zoom H1 via the Behringer PM1. There are somewhere around. All right, needless to say, pretty big difference. Now, quickly before we go back to the other one. So this here is all the working area with that same one. So you don't actually have to go through and build this preset every single time. If you highlight the one that you've got, right click, copy. Now that was this one. If we simply come across, highlight all of these other audio clips, right click, paste attributes. Now in here, you want to make sure you don't touch the volume because if you have faded volumes in and out for different things that are happening in the aircraft, it'll apply that, very important. So leave that unclicked. It's something that I tend to do manually. But the parametric equalizer, the loudness repair, the clarity, so basically all of those essential sound selections in that dialog box, we want to apply all of those. Boom, done. Now, doesn't matter which one I click on, we come back across to here, same parabolic parametric equalizer, the same reduced noise and reduced rumble. So I've got these ones here highlighted as yellow. This will be our test one. We'll come, we'll have a quick tidy up on the lavalier mic and then we'll compare the lav mic selection, which I've got here in red versus the other one side by side and see if you can hear the difference. So we've got our clapping. So this is lav mic. I'll play you a small select um, part of it. Synced us up. So we're now using the lav mic. That's just simply in my ear, sitting in my ear. All right, so the one thing you notice from this, you don't get quite as much of that high pitch whine. I am, I'm assuming that's less electronic interference because we're not using as many cables. Nonetheless, let's apply a couple of these same ones. So select the area, come across to dialogue. Let's reduce the noise. And in this one, you may potentially want to reduce a little bit more of the rumble because that mic is recording all of the time. Uh, we'll give it two and two. All right, um, I will just quickly put a cut through everything here. I'll let it play across so we can hear the difference. Mike, that lavalier mic is still gonna be picking up that yeah. noise because it is recording the whole time, not just when this mic is activated. So see, there was quite a bit of background noise there that we've actually cut out. I'm gonna push that up to probably 2.5 and I'll let it play across that transition again and we'll see what it sounds like. That lavalier mic is still gonna be picking up that yeah. noise because it is recording the whole time not just when this mic is activated. Okay, that's making a pretty good difference there. We can have a look at the parametric equalizer. So same point, we're grabbing it, just gonna simply drag it across. It is interesting to have a look on here because we can actually see if there's we're any waveforms. at a similar level, about minor. But, so there's a very small high pitch wind up here. I mean, it's probably gonna be pretty hard to hear anyway. Let's push the low end up a little again, something like that. And I'm gonna pinch out a little bit of that high frequency feedback. Now let's play that back across this transition one more time. Directly via the cable, via this mic. That lavalier mic is still gonna be picking up that yeah. noise because it is That's... recording the whole time, not just when this mic is activated. That's sounding pretty good. All right, so what I've got set up here is in yellow is the Behringer, the inline mic. I've got that all cleaned up with the attributes you saw me use before. And then here in the red, the rosy color, we've got uh, the lavalier mic all cleaned up and same attributes put in there. I'm gonna play them side by side, see if you can hear the difference. Sound so check, Behringer inline volume control directly into the Zoom H H1. This is a sound check with a lavalier mic recording directly to the Zoom H1. Well, there you go. Uh, it's the difference between the lav mic versus the inline volume control. Um, yep, yeah, it's quite a bit of a difference, I think. You can definitely cut out some of that background with the inline controls. And as you can see, coming through and post and spending a little bit of time cleaning that audio up makes a huge difference. Like, it's really worth doing just to get rid of those little, like, whistles and squelches that, um, you know, really just detract and take you away from the content that you're trying to provide. It's not it's not needed. We, we do have the ability to get rid of it. It's relatively easy. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the couple of bits and pieces of equipment that I've used here. Other than that, uh, safe flying. Hope this helps you out and see you for the next one. Bye.